so hey guys i am back from um school supply and these are what i got so i apologize if the vlog is too short that is because i just quickly got the stuff that i really needed and i don't want I didn't even bother exploring the other um, shops because, of course, you want to limit your outside interaction as much as possible since, um, of course, when you go outside, you're already risking the chance of contracting COVID-19 and the longer you stay out, the more, ch the higher the chance you'll have of contracting COVID-19. So basically, the ones that I've the parts of our blog are the ones that I actually want to and um, technically the ones I bought here are marked uh, generic spice since um, the national that I went to didn't have that much stock um, they didn't have much stock of like designer stuff or those cute stuff that you normally find in back to school and that's because of course they're also losing money and they just um, stock up on generic stuff since they know most people will buy those generic important stuff like of course notebook, pencils, binders so because of this I just bought the generic stuff that I usually need and are really and that are cheaper and the rest I will just be buying from um, Shopee so first off I got this um binder which is the comics brand and i got it in the 1.5 inch i got one in black and i got one in blue and i got a another one in blue so these are just the three ring binder and this will be for storage of my notes for the school year so one binder will be for AP Physics 1, one binder will be for General Chemistry, and one binder will be for the rest of the subjects. Um, next up, I got this refillable pockets from Seagull by Seagull, and they are in the legal 27 hole. So that's um, this is where I'll be storing my test papers since um, they are, of course, in legal size and even though we'll be doing online tests we'll be getting our results so i will just print them off and put them here for safekeeping um in the future so next i got seagulls with fillable pockets but this time they are in the a4 size and i wanted um the a4 size since these will be mostly for practice exercises or just like index card storage when i put them in the binder and um lastly i just got some paper cast 0.5 millimeter lead since um i ran out of lead for my mechanical pencil lastly i got this orion six inches ruler since the one i had before which was paper castle broke because it was like a acrylic plastic that when you drop it it cracks so i decided to get one that um is just totally plastic which is orange so no matter how many times this drops it won't break or crack it's both a millimeter and cm and an inches and it also comes in this like protective layer which is just a bonus I got from Shopee is this um, piping envelope in the size B4. So um, I got it in the color orange and I got two of them. Yeah. 
So, um, the main reason why I chose this kind of envelope is because it, the plastic is very thick and it's not that easy to break compared to normal folders that if you keep shoving them in your backpack, it will like in maybe two months, they will have holes and it will just break. But this plastic is very thick, which I love. And I have that in the A4 size. And this has been with me for at least six years. And what do you call that? Um, It's still very thick and it just has some dentures because of course I showed this in my backpack so I got the bigger size because in senior high school since I'm going to grade 12 um, most of our pad papers are legal size or they're like 8.5 inch by 14 inch so this is our pad paper this is like this is what they call the yellow pad and um, it cannot fit um, the A4 size as you can see but when it's the B4 size um, it absolutely fits with still there's even more space so this actually fits long bond paper and also legal pad which is a great way to store my pad paper since I, own, I only had like a long folder and it actually broke in grade 11 because I just kept shoving it so hopefully this will last me from like grade 12 to at least college since we'll be also using the same pad paper now um the shipping this is the most common problem when it comes to online shipping is that there are some dentures during the shipping since the seller um, before shipping she pictured the photos which I will also link them there um, when she pictured it there were no dentures found and she even bubble wrapped it but after I got it after like the courier gave it to me there were dentures so it would be probably due to shipping so I don't know if you can see like the dentures um it made but there will be a video i will put up somewhere in that in that area but um there were dentures which for me is okay since um it doesn't degrade like the use of it since you're using it to store and it's just um just some small bits on the on the centers and on like the edges which is okay as long as it doesn't work So the next item I got is from a store and shop called Kalazu Print and I'll be linking all the stores and their products that I got in the description box. So I got this um, two um, pocket folder in the color red and this is in the size of long bond so it can actually fit long bond paper and this is plastic. And um, there's this part where you can sorry, <coughs> sorry, there's this part where you can slide out and actually put like label this folder. So this is like a good way to organize your subjects. So you can actually like put here tests, homework, lesson papers, and this is um a uh, a very sturdy plastic. But just note that you cannot actually put a lot of papers or too heavy stuff on this folder because um, it will break just like my old one so this is um my old one and i don't know if you can see but there are actually cracks because i've been using this for six years and it's because i put a lot of heavy heavyweight papers so that's actually um, one thing you have to note when using this but other than that there are no dents no scratches and that means the shipping actually went well and this is very affordable since I got it during the Shopee sale and yeah so this is a good way that I'll be organizing some of my um, files for this school year so this is the exact 
Um, I got this product from the exact same store, Colazo Cream, from the previous product. And this one is a long bond size, but the difference between that is that it's in the inside two pockets. Um, this one has a metal, so it can securely like grasp the papers, unlike this, because when you junk it everywhere in your bag, this, the papers tend to fall out. But this one will keep it secured. And um, there's this thing. Yeah, so you can actually change this by, wait, just pull it out, pull this plastic out, and pull the paper out. And you can actually put like label, like what folder this is used for, which is actually good. And so far, upon checking, this thing has um, no dents. No scratches, and that means the shipping went very well. And this, um, this mean I really like the seller for that. I, I, I mean, I appreciate that he also like bubble wraps it because if you can see from the unboxing, that thing was also pretty much heavyweight bubble wrap upon shipping and no scratches. And the only thing I just have to say about this seller is that um, the seller wasn't that responsive on the chat. He just it's like. When I chat, it just says he read it, but he hasn't responded, which is just one thing I dislike. But overall, this item was shipped very quickly in just three to four days. It was shipped, and everything went smoothly. All the products were really nice, and I got all the the colors that I chose. So I would really um recommend this seller. So the next item I bought is from Crafty Surface PH. And they're one of the most known shoppy shops to buy stationery from. So I got a B5 um B5 binder notebook from Crafty Surface PH and the design I got was a unicorn that says you're beautiful, which I think is a really cute design. And um the binder not only comes with that but it also comes with um pages and these pages are really really thick but i haven't tested them but i think these papers will avoid ink like ink smears and um shadowing during the back like if you write your notes here i don't think it will be shown at the back because this is a really thick paper and it also comes in with four dividers so if you're going to use this for like a multiple subject notebook then these dividers come really handy and the way you um open this notebook is you just press this and then you pull them and then like you can customize the notebook so this is also refillable. This is a B5 binder that is 26 holes. And I not only got this design, um, I also got a, another one. And this time, it's a um, Mount Fuji design, which is actually really pretty. And I'm lucky that I was one of the last ones who got it since they said they were having low in stock, so I just got it. And um, with shipping, um, this was shipped within um, three to four days, which is actually very fast. Um, I wasn't able to film the unboxing of this because my camera wasn't filming when I unboxed it, which is just a waste. And um, let me just tell you that the seller was able to bubble wrap it protectively and. The only um, damage is this. There's like a small dent here due to the shipping, but overall it's fine. And there's no more other dents in this notebook, and there's just one dent in here. So, yeah. So the next thing I got was a 
um, hole puncher, but this isn't an ordinary puncher. This is a six hole puncher made especially for making holes for binder notebooks for the 20, 26, and 30 hole um, binder. So this one can hole punch um, A4 binders, um, B5 binders, and A5 binders. Um, I got this from the brand KW Trio and it's in the pink color and um, this is really useful if you like want to have a paper in your binder notebook but it doesn't have holes so all you have to do is just um, hole punch it right here so when I got this package um, it was bubble wrap securely but sadly like when I opened it the box was like torn apart so I really had to cut through the box to actually um, open the product so the packaging wasn't really that nice but thankfully um, the, the puncher was not damaged at all and this, these I had to assemble it myself so these are like the rulers um, this thing comes like in a locking mechanism so to lock this one you just have to pull push through this and like push the button and now it's like stuck so it's good if you don't want any like kids in the house um, playing with this and getting hurt so to unlock it all you just have to do is just hear the snap button and um, it's back so it actually came with like a manual the problem is it's in Chinese Mandarin so I actually couldn't read it because I have poor Chinese skills but um, if you just search KW306 hole puncher how to use it they have an English video on YouTube and I will also link it down below for those people who have trouble reading this manual and um, let's just say that it took a while to actually learn how to do it because I myself I myself didn't know how to use it um, properly but I will be showing you how to like do it in this video um okay so this is a tutorial on like how to hole punch a B5 paper for those who do not know um I think it's the same thing with A4 and A5s but you can always watch KW3O's video if you need help. Okay, so I think you have to make sure first your paper is in a B5 size and you can always check the internet on what size is a B5. Okay, so um, what I want you to guys know is that you would have to like align your paper to this line that says B5 but if your paper is A4, A5, just align it with the line there. So you would want to align it there. So it's like, yeah, like this. So it should be like exactly aligned or if not, just maybe a millimeter away. Yeah. You would want to align it properly and then just hole punch it okay then I want you to turn this thing on and you get you always put the second to second to the last hole on this red dot so there see second to the last hole on the red dot and then just hole punch then take it out and do it again for the rest from the second to the last hole okay so the trickiest part is the last hole punching so when you're in the last hole punching you will need to align your to align the edge of the paper to this side 
and not to this side. You have to do it on the right side. Align it to the B5 line again. It's like this. And just make sure it's completely aligned with the others or else it will just be another crooked shape. And you can tell if it's if the holes like this is still touching the red hole. And what I want you to do is hole punch it. And then you're done. Oh and um one more thing. Um what I like about this feature also is that there is like a the this thing that contains the holes. So if you if the papers are getting full, you just need to open this up and dump it out. So the last thing I got from Shopee is this MNG 20 pieces gel refill for the 0.38 millimeter pens. So um, if you guys don't, if you guys didn't know, um, for most of my writing, I always use MNG because it's way cheaper and um, it also lasts pretty long. So if I like take tests or make draft notes, write essays in school, um, I usually use my MNG pen. And if I'm gonna take my final notes, um, I use my Muji pen because of course Muji refills are more expensive than um, MNG pens, uh, MNG refills. So for me, for the 0.38 millimeters, um, it always fits to any standard 0.38 millimeter pen, except of course for the Muji since they have their own style. But I always buy like generic 0.38 millimeter pens and. MNG has always fit, so I do. I did not worry about um um trying. I didn't worry about buying it online if I cannot um fit it because um when I actually got it, I tried fitting it to my other pens and it actually worked. And this is how it looks um in the inside. So shipping, of course, was very fast. Again, it took three to four days, which is actually very good um package was bubble wrap this was an overseas shipping the seller was from china and the only complaints i had were like when i got it if you can see from the packet from the unpackaging video um the package was open like the top but thankfully nothing was damaged but the box of course was dented to which i was also scared that maybe the ball pens i i mean the refills might be um damage but thankfully i think the bubble wrap was the one that was able to protect it so i went through the whole process of trying out all those 20 refills and seeing if they actually work and i wrote i used them for like around two minutes and they actually worked from the start it was actually a little bit light so maybe because it wasn't used that much but after writing it it just becomes um, it just becomes more fluid. Um, it's also very smooth, like the other MNGs I had um, before. So um, I don't know if I should include this in my back to school haul, but um, I I didn't even get this. I got this gifted from my aunt um, when she came back from the Philippines because she was on lockdown in. Um, in the UK because there were no planes able to come here so as like her gift to me she got me this Stedler 36 brilliant color tri plus fine liners and if you don't know what fine liners are they're very thin pens as you can see it says here 0.3 millimeter and it comes in a wide array of colors to be honest, I've never tried Stedler fine liners. I only have the Stabilo fine liners, so I'm excited to try this out for my notes. And um, my only scare here is I hope it doesn't bleed through that much because my papers are really thin and um, there I only have few papers that doesn't bleed through the Stabilo fine liners. So I might have to do a testing 
first before actually using it for my notes but the colors are really pretty so um for a visual learner i think this is gonna really help in my note taking this year okay so these next items are from lazada and i also got it during their sale because i'm a very cheap person and i want to save money and because i'm gonna go broke if i don't buy them from the sale um so the first thing i got from lazada is this 12 pocket folder in the a4 size because they don't have it in the long bun but um i just needed a new one because if you didn't i have like a lacuma folder um but it's like almost at the brink of breaking because of how much papers i had to put there from the start of grade 7 and until grade 11 so it's still a miracle that that's one of the longest folders that have lasted me every folder they had it lasted me only one or two years so for it to last four years is already an amazing investment um this was relatively i'm not gonna say cheap but it's a little bit affordable in terms of the durability and in this area um there's like a cardstock um here you can like take you can take it out just you can actually take it out but i don't want to take it out because it took so long to put in but you can take it out so that you can um actually put like what subjects um you can organize your subjects if you ever have 12 subjects but i only have 10 subjects this year so it won't be a problem maybe the 11 and 12 could be just back up but um you can also store something here if you want and what i love about that is that they have tabs like they actually have tabs so if you like need to go over you need to like how do you say this quickly find something um what you can do is you can like put like you know um a paper and then tape it here the subject so it's easy to flip through and what i also like about this more than my Rilakkuma folder is that like for example each subject has one and two they have two pockets and in my Rilakkuma only one subject um, only has one pocket so for it to have two makes you more organized like in here you can put like your homeworks or announcements and here you can put your tests or lesson stuff so you can actually organize this so um they it's usually very it's not it's very compact and they also have like these stuff that you can um how do you do this that you can actually strap on so you can actually strap this on so it would not suddenly fly open during your bag and um i forgot to say but um this was one of the longest in shipping it took three weeks even though it was from a local seller but um it was okay because the quality is just super nice and i can't wait to use this during the school year and the last thing i got from lazada is this expandable um envelope in the long size in in the size that fits long bond paper so it says fc size so i'll just go with that and it's 12 12 pockets um yeah it's 12 pockets and um this um this also comes like in a handle so it looks like a business suitcase so um if you're like if you don't want to put this in your bag because it's too big you can just like freely carry it unlike some of the others where they only have like this but not a handle so i had to pay actually extra for this and um this is actually very normal price it's around 250 pesos so um this i'll show you in the inside um this was it took also one week for shipping but i didn't mind so um this is how it looks so you have like a layer of organization and then it also comes with this stuff 
so that you can like sort out or organize but i don't think i'll be using this because you can actually um put like tape like you can put a paper and tape it and put it inside to indicate the subject and they also have this this white thing it's just to like label to label the stuff there so i'm just actually gonna plan to just put my name on there and what subjects if i ever start coding them and what i like about this and other folders that it is it has a very large space so like um for example um my a4 folder i just showed you if i like i sh if i like and at the end of the week transfer all my papers um i would like to organize it here because i don't want to make the a4 folder too heavy because again it's gonna break down easily but well, this is supposed to design to withstand the weight unless don't try putting notebooks heavy notebooks there because mine broke one my other one before in grade 7 broke because of putting too heavy notebooks so only put papers there please so don't make it too heavy also but it can withstand more weight than the folder and there are 12 pockets again so if you have the 12 pocket a4 folder and with this then you will be able to organize so some organizational ideas is like you can put your test papers here after you receive them from the teacher you can put like extra documents related to your lesson that you won't need that much or if the teacher isn't required anymore you can just put here for safekeeping and then once like at the end of the semester you take out all the stuff in here and you transfer them to a binder so that in case in the next school year or in the future in college you would need your stuff um you can easily go back to the binder so yeah so um upon getting this there were just a few i don't know if you can see it due to the light but there's just like a few dents in here like the tops but um that's okay because it's not necessarily broken at all it's just a few dents which i don't mind and but overall there's no scratches and shipping was fine and that's the end of the video and those are all the supplies that I bought for back to school. I know that um, these are like not that much compared to what those trending back to school haul videos are doing where they spend like $500 but honestly um, I'm a senior so um, I'm trying as much as to save up money because I would need a lot of new stuff when college comes, so like I don't really splurge out that much when it comes to back to school supplies, and I only get what I really needed. So like you didn't see notebooks this year because I wanted to reuse my notebooks last year since I still um they're still in good use and they still have pages. So I actually just got the things that you actually need, and most of that I got are for organization so i just want to like put a disclaimer that you don't need to go out and spend the, all of your money on back to school supplies like especially the ones you do not need and like the ones you can always reuse like um pens erasers pencils like you don't need to buy new ones if you still have old ones because we don't we tend to consume too much that we're also harming the environment so let's just buy what we need to save the environment so i hope you guys like this video and if you do please give it a thumbs up subscribe and turn on the post notification to never miss the notification of when i post a new video and comment down below like if you've already done back to school shopping and um when does your school start so I'm gonna see you guys in my next video. Bye!